Okay, on to the next question. Uh, mm -hmm. Stefan Wecker writes, Hey, how to BAM. I just recognized that you uploaded a lot of videos and I decided to watch all of them soon. What I like to ask is whether there is something like a difference in how easy people learn to draw. I'm 17 and I spend quite a lot of time on studying and drawing after all, uh, anatomy books and manga as well as reality. And I end up drawing for a good hour in average each day. However, looking at all these people on DeviantArt and co makes me a little sad since many out of there are out of my league. Akito from Bakum once said, I'm a man and I want to make it big. I can pretty much identify with him, so I'm quite frustrated that I cannot surpass the others. So my question is, where's the difference between those people and me? What can I do to raise the speed of the learning process? I never believed in something like a genius, but now I'm asking myself whether there are some of them. I hope you are able to understand this email since English isn't my mother tongue. I'm grateful to you sacrificing your time to read my questions. Anyway, keep up the awesome work. I'm now looking forward to a nice video each week. Greetings from Germany, Stefan. Uh, what's your take, uh, Jamie? I know exactly how you feel. Like, I am a professional artist. I have gotten paid and made my entire living from doing art, you know, at times. And I've studied art my entire life. I've loved drawing since I was a kid. But I still go on deviant art, and I'm like, oh my god, their work is so much better than mine. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. You know, people have differences. And if you want to get better, you just draw more. And you draw more and you draw more. I think it's important to spend enough time with your own artwork to create your own style. And just, you know, I mean, stop comparing yourself. You know, as long as you draw what you feel is good, you will improve, you know, more as you went on. Maybe these people started younger than you did. Maybe they have more time. Maybe they just took to it naturally. But I think anybody can become good with enough time. Although, trust me, I know exactly how you feel. I am always seeing people with the most amazing, gorgeous art, and I'm like, I'm so jealous of you. But, you know, they're good inspiration for me, you know, and as long as I'm happy with what I do, then it doesn't really matter if they're better, better than me or not, you know? <clears throat> Just stop comparing yourself. Just do your best. Learn. Keep learning. You're going to learn your whole life. So go for it. Uh, Jamie, do, do you have techniques that, that help you improve? Or do you self, see yourself improving? I'm always improving. And sometimes when I don't draw for a long time, like I've been working on my book for a long time, then I feel like it get worse <laughs> because I'm not drawing all the time. The number one thing is to draw every day just a little bit if you don't have time, if you're working or you have school or, you know, find time to draw just a little bit every single day. And the best practice for me was just looking at life around you. Draw what you see in front of you. Um, something I love to do is watch a movie or a TV show and then you can pause it or take a screen capture and use that as, you know, a model. Yep. You know, if you don't have a model in front of you, if you're sitting there alone, then use, you know, a screen capture from your favorite TV show or if your favorite character or look a picture up online and use that as inspiration. You know, if you're stuck in class, draw the people around you, yep. you know, or I have my cat in the room here. I'll draw my cat, you know, <laughs> just that's, that's my biggest, my biggest piece of advice. Now, um, when you're looking at people online, remember a lot of people are doing digital art and you might not have grown up doing digital art. I did um, traditional art most of my life and I worked in traditional art on the Prince of Tennis. So we didn't really have much of a digital education. So I have been working with Photoshop, but I realized that a lot of people are using other programs that work differently than Photoshop. They're using Painter or Sai. Sai is the big one now. And Sai you can get for free, I think, like a free trial. And I tried Sai and it was like amazing. You know, I wasn't as good as these people, but I can see how just a little bit of practice would be able to, you know, I'd be able to do the same kind of things as the people I admire. Yeah. So a lot of it has to do with the program you're using too, if you're working like digitally. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, for, that's yeah. funny because uh, for for me it's the other way around. It's uh, when I draw, uh, when I don't draw a lot of time, uh, I, I, maybe for days or months, I get better. But but also by the same technique. Really? I just, yeah, I I've, I maybe uh, I've, I haven't drawn between my 18th year and my 25 or 26th. Mm -hmm. I stopped drawing, but after that I I, I come to get better and. Uh, but also by the reason that you were, were naming is uh, by observing life, looking at life, studying life, uh, looking how things work, things uh, how things are connected, and uh, by just looking, I, I just want to uh, get get better. Um, so uh, I, I we already yes. discussed this this topic. And I made a video uh, also on the Mailbag Show. It's called "How to Improve Your Drawing Drastically." So it's in the playlist mm -hmm. of, of Mailbag, but it's you can make a hundred of these videos and talk about it forever because it's a topic that will always be keep coming back, and there, there there's always people who want to know how to get better uh, faster. Yeah. And, so mm -hmm. and I don't I don't mind to keep giving my best uh, possible answer for that. Uh, oh, there's one thing I can add. Yeah, sure. Uh, Watch tutorials online, especially like video tutorials on YouTube. I do that too when I want to learn how to do something that I'm not really sure, you know, or even more so when somebody I like, yeah. like I like their art, if they do a tutorial, then I watch it yeah. so that, you know, I can learn from them. And I think that's totally valid. That's great. You know, even when we worked in the studio, we did like, um, we would take, you know, issues of Bakuman and then like stare at it forever and be like how did they do this little background right here you oh, know really? you, you so we, other manga. yeah we tried to learn from other artists who yeah. were doing backgrounds as well because you know we were in charge of backgrounds so we're like how would they draw this yeah. you know and we'd we'd sift through this or through other manga, you know, and try to pick up the same kind of techniques you yeah. know um, once you reach a certain amount of practice you can kind of tell with the background you know what kind of techniques they were using so it's easy enough to emulate that in your own work too so yeah you did a yeah, lot of are great. Hmm? You, you also did a lot of tracing right did it also yeah. improve uh, uh, to get you better yeah what we did um most of our backgrounds were based off of real life places with a little bit of tweaks um the big tennis club that we used was actually a golf resort <laughs> so we took photos of the whole resort, you know, and then we decided, hey, there's a building here in the middle. And then I designed the building and we just stuck it in every time we made sure <laughs> to draw it in. And then instead of the big golf, you know, places, we had tennis courts. So, but, you know, we would use the, you know, the shape of the land. So we'd take a photograph, oh. photocopy it like in reverse photocopy in reverse on the copy machine, then we would take that reversed photocopy, turn it over, and draw on the back side with like a light table underneath yeah, so we yeah. can see through it. So we reversed it, then you're looking through the back so it's actually the correct way. So we called those traces, and it actually made it so much simpler. Like, you know, you had the real world, world example there as a guide, it made it a million times easier to be able to draw those type of scenes. So, so, you know, if you think that people don't use reference, I heard this a lot growing up. Real artists don't use reference. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> we used reference and we're real artists. And I cannot tell you the number of times I watched Konomi Sensei draw and he was using like a, a magazine with like some guy hitting a tennis ball or some girl hitting a tennis ball and then he was using that same pose. Yeah. So, you know, we do, we use references. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, and uh, to, go, to get back to my, uh, to, to, uh, to, to the video I was uh, was talking about, uh, what, what I talked about in the last video, uh, well, it was uh, about uh, uh, anatomy, doing anatomy uh, a lot, uh, taking on different styles, uh, observing life, uh, mm -hmm. different perspectives and then a buddy of mine who saw the video he talked to me and he was like hey um, this is a nice video but you didn't mention that um, that you have to focus on your hand and eye coordination for for the beginners because if you if you copy things that you exactly can copy it uh, like, like it is you know just uh, exactly uh, make the drawing uh, and, and exactly make the copy as it is uh, and he said, I have a rule, and it's, if you can't see it, you cannot draw. 
And I, I agree okay. a little bit, but but mm -hmm. it's very hard to explain. But because how are you going to tell someone? Uh, how you have to go and see this if they aren't seeing it. Uh, mm -hmm. You get me. So uh, I think yeah. that's that's the that's the the point where most of uh, of the artists are are struggling with that that you mm -hmm. know you did something wrong, but you can't see uh, what you did wrong, or you don't mm -hmm. know what what you have to do to improve on it. And mm -hmm. uh, that that's why I uh, I talked about anatomy uh, a bit. So that that's a guideline to to get it better. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, then I, I was really uh, after he, uh, I talked with my with a buddy of mine, it it kept haunting me. I I I, I had something like I have to give a better answer than this. I, it must be better. <laughs> so uh, I thought about it a lot, and then this question came up, and I thought about uh, maybe to explain it in two things, in two ways. You got like the body, and you got like the mind, and it's when uh, learning or under, uh, or understanding anything new it's like dancing or boxing or, or riding a bike and well if, let's take riding a bike as an example we are not talking about uh, riding a bike now but we are almost talking about how can you be a pro BMXer right it's like how can you do all those flips and tricks and jumps and jump off cliffs and stuff <laughs> that that's the level of comparison we, we are going to be because we want to be a an, 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 uh, professional manga artist so right. um, to do that you first have to ride a bike that's that's the first step you can you, you can't just jump off cliffs and make trips and, and flips and all of those stuff so we, we first have to ride a bike and that's uh, well, copying things. I think, uh, li like Jamie said, it's uh, observing life. Just just get other uh, work, get a lot of other uh, manga that you know, uh, how, how to draw stuff. And try, like my buddy also said, try to copy things exactly as they are. Try to copy it exactly as they are. And just, that's your first step. So get your, your, uh, your, your eye and hand coordination. Very good. Uh, and then your your body, if you got that under control, your body will tell your mind that uh, that that it can do that, that that it's it's okay to copy that. Um, so for the beginners, just copy, copy, copy. And uh, if you're 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 uh, you're getting better, so then you're on an in intermediate level, right? Then you're getting better, and then you can draw something. Uh, um, out of the top of your head. So try to to take your character that you've drawn and try to make it uh, your own. So try different perspectives or try try different styles. Uh, and, and the thing that I, I am struggling with or have struggled with and still struggling with is uh, that, that, uh, that line between reality and dream is that when you got, you know you can do something because you already copied it. So you know that you can do it, but there's there's a lot of noise between. It. There's, there's, it's like your mind is telling you no, you can't do it, and, and and your your hand is making those weird lines that that you're not that you're not thinking of. So it's trying to channel that one better, and uh, try to focus on that. Try to get that. And I, I can't have a really good explanation for that because that's something you have to figure out yourself. But it's <laughs> it's it's trying to get that balance between that reality state and the dream state of flowing well things naturally that that the thing that that cr creating all those creativity and creating all those those uh well almost special things or, or what's centered from within and try to let that out uh so just do it getting better and and that's one other thing i just want to mention is sometimes it helps and i think you can talk about the jamie is when you are getting pushed being thrown uh for the lions it's it's when you have to, uh, you have to do it. You know, it's. Uh, I, I have. Um, I, I'm on conventions and I draw. Uh, it's called uh, manga yourself. I, I'm uh, drawing. Uh, I'm making a picture of someone and I'm making manga version of that person. Mm -hmm. And that's like a sort of commission basis. Basis. Uh, but people are watching you because I have a screen set up on the other side. So people are watching me draw. And those people are watching me draw them, you know. So there's, there's a lot of pressure. This is the first time that I did that. Uh, well, I, I it, really hard focusing. So, um, but after that, after that day, 
I really became better because it's just uh, you have to you have to do that do, do you recognize that yeah <laughs> when I first started working for Konami Sensei like my first day or my first three days I had to draw, he gave me like assignments to do, you know, to kind of assess my level of drawing ability. And he would actually stand there next to my <laughs> desk and draw. And I'm like, here is my idol. Here is a guy who has millions of dollars and he makes all these millions of dollars drawing this manga that I absolutely love. And he's staring at what I'm drawing. Oh my God. You know, it was so so nerve-wracking it was horrible but you know what are my choices give up and be like I'm so sorry tell him off and get him mad at me or just kind of like try to block it out and make yeah. yourself do it you just you know the only acceptable option for me was make myself do it and then glance up every once in a while hoping he'll go away you know <laughs> it happens you know and over time you know i got more comfortable with it because you know he stopped watching me obviously you know and, um we would these assistants would watch each other and and i watched him draw you know so it, I got more used to it. I wouldn't say that I'm totally used to it. I still hate watching, yeah. uh, letting people watch me draw. I just hate it because the beginning is just so, you know, you might start over several times before you get to something that you even are like, well, this is kind of okay, yeah. you know, and it's so embarrassing and you don't want anybody to see something that's not perfect, yeah. you know. You just make yourself do it like you do. And nowadays I update my blog every single day no matter what is going on and there are times when I'm right down to the wire it's 11 o'clock and I'm like the post needs to go up at 12 and I don't even know what to write about <laughs> but you just you have to force yourself yep. to do it you know yep. Yep. and if I let myself get lax on that I know that I'm going to stretch it into two months without ever writing so I, I force myself every day to do it you have to <laughs> you just have to it's a personal you have to make up your mind to do it and do it, you yeah. know, whatever the, whatever the cost. Whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you like this video, then super smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our How to Bam YouTube channel. It's a great way for staying updated for the latest shows and videos. If you also have a question about making manga that you want to be answered on our show, then send in your email to info at howtobam.com. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for some great giveaways and prizes.